So this right here was the scene earlier today at the state capitol in Tallahassee. Hundreds of people rallied for criminal justice reform and help for victims of crimes. There are several bills currently up for approval, including ones that would better inform families of homicide victims about any criminal investigation. Legislation would also ensure they have access to leave work for a funeral or court proceeding. There are also improvements to Florida's probation system, plus record sealing for those with low level offenses to make it easier to find a job. It's resources, right. it's services, yes. it's employment, yes. it's housing, yes. it's youth programs, yeah. it's investing in the things that we know that keep us safe. The group says making some of those investments would address the root causes of crime and break the cycle of repeat offenders. At least one of the policies is getting traction in the House this year, but it's unclear if any will have the backing to actually get to the governor's desk. And today's rally comes as we're seeing a new report from the FBI. It takes a closer look at hate crimes that were committed across the country in 2021. And Jameson, you have a bit more on that right now. Yeah, Lauren, here's what they found. During 2021, there were over 10,000 single bias hate crime incidents involving over 12,000 victims. Let's take a quick breakdown look of those. You can see an overwhelming majority, nearly two thirds, actually of victims were targeted because of race or ethnicity, over 20% because of their sexual orientation, gender or gender identity, over 14% because of their religion and about one and a half percent due to disability. And here in Florida, we also hear from people within the LGBTQ community. They say they feel under attack as new Florida policies take aim at how LGBTQ issues are discussed in schools and who can attend events like drag shows. So that's why tonight reporter Vanessa Ariza is taking an in-depth look at the issue. She's digging deeper into that FBI report and learning how one local group is literally fighting back. Set Mohammed Moore has had her fair share of side eyes and glances. As a member of the LGBTQ plus community and founder of the organization Found Family Collective, her story is one of many, that of acceptance, and what she and so many others continue to endure. I don't think this country has had the homophobic and transphobic climate that we currently have since maybe the lavender scare. There are numbers to back her up. According to statistics just released days ago by the FBI, in 2021, there were just over 1,700 hate crime incidents because of a person's sexual orientation. Close to 2,000 victims were reported, but Set says that number is more than likely higher. I believe it's worse than we know because not even though the numbers are showing in, in, in a trend upward in hate crimes against trans and queer folks, um, not all of the violence that gets uh, perpetrated against us is reported. Brian Anderson Needham and his cousin Jamie are familiar with those numbers. The two founded Weapon Brand, a self-defense business, and reached out to set. Not long after, they offered the first of a series of self-defense classes for the LGBTQ plus community. That was just another community, another you know group of people that they really didn't have too much to fall back on, and, and we've seen a lot more hate crimes. We've seen a lot more violence with them, things like that. Brian understands there may be initial hesitations about bringing in someone like him into a tight-knit community. Every single time it happens, they're very hesitant. At first, you can kind of see, like, you know, what this, this bald guy with tattoos is coming in here to, to that, you know, top military law enforcement. Uh, what the heck does he know about us? But what we do know is the human side of things. Add to that trust and communication. And he says it builds a new community, one that is stronger, not only emotionally, but physically. Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.